WooCommerce doesn't provide a way of marking products as discontinued while keeping them visible in the store. And as we'll see, there are lots of important reasons to mark products no longer available as discontinued as opposed to out of stock or just deleting them. And the WooCommerce Discontinued Products plugin from Barn2 makes this quick and easy to do. The important thing to remember is that discontinued products are completely different to out of stock products. WooCommerce provides a solution for out of stock products, but no way to mark your products is actually discontinued. The only options are to manually add a note saying that the product has been discontinued, for example in the short description, or to either delete the price, delete the product, or mark the product as out of stock. But marking discontinued products as out of stock is a bad idea as it confuses customers, they have no way of telling if a product will come back into stock, and clutters up your store stock reports. So why not just delete them instead? Well, just deleting them will impact negatively on your SEO as you'll lose all the link juice and rankings associated with those discontinued product pages and it can create broken links. Significantly, you'll also lose the opportunity to sell similar alternative products to customers landing on those discontinued product pages and this can be highly effective in generating new sales. Marking products as discontinued also enables customers to still see all their products when viewing their old purchase history and be prompted to view new replacement products. The WooCommerce Discontinued Products plugin from Barn2 solves all these problems, providing an easy way for store owners to mark products as discontinued. So let's install the plugin and put it to work. A link to download the plugin is in the description below. To install it, just go to your admin, to Plugins, Install New, Upload Plugin, choose the file you downloaded, once uploaded, activate, click on Settings, and once in Settings, enter your license key, activate, and you're good to go. You can see in Settings that you have an option to change the display text for discontinued products, and there's also a tick box here to hide discontinued products from your store. Remember, this won't affect your SEO. So. To mark a product as discontinued, I'm going to go to my products here in the admin, and you can see I have one out of stock product here, and then here I have a product marked as discontinued. So let's edit this one and see how it's done. So once I click edit, I'm gonna come down to where it says inventory. And over here where it says stock status, the drop down menu gives me several options, and at the bottom here is the new discontinued option provided by the plugin. If you can't see stock status, then you just need to untick the Manage Stock Status box. Update your product, and if I view this product, there, you can see the product is marked as discontinued, and the Add to Cart option and Quantity Picker is automatically removed. So that's how simple it is to mark a product as discontinued with the WooCommerce Discontinued Products plugin from Barn2. Let's see how to mark a product variation as discontinued. So this time I'm going to edit a product I have with variations, come down to the product data here and click on variations. Open up the variation I want to mark as discontinued, find the stock status drop down and select discontinued. You can also mark all variations as discontinued in one easy go by going to the drop down menu here. And if we come down to where it says set status discontinued and hit go, that will mark all the variations of this product as discontinued. We can see that if I just expand this again, there we can see the first one discontinued. And you'll need to update for the changes to take effect. And then finally, you can discontinue products in bulk from the main products page. So I just need to select the products I want to discontinue, then select edit from bulk actions here, hit apply, and all I need to do is find the in stock question mark drop down here, change it to discontinued, update, and it's as easy as that. Next, let's look at how you can benefit from customers viewing a discontinued product page by upselling new alternative products. To do this, I'm gonna go back to my product and edit it, and this time I'm gonna come down to where it says linked products. And then here, I'm going to add an appropriate product to the upsells box, and you can add more than one if you want to. Update, and if I view my product now, my product says discontinued, but underneath 
I have a neat suggestion for an alternative product. So that's been a look at the WooCommerce Discontinued Products plugin from Barn2. You'll find a link to a detailed written tutorial and a link to download the plugin in the description below. Thanks for watching.